Hey guys, this is James from RemoteTech.biz. Hey, I just wanted to discuss with you a little bit about screen size resolutions um, and probably show you a few different sizes that are common uh, both in the past and current. So let's open up our website, RemoteTech.biz, and let's go search for an article I recently updated. 16 by 9, right there. 16 by 9. That is an aspect ratio. This is the blog post that I wrote, or updated, I should say. And this is the resolution information I wanted to discuss with you. So let me go over a few of these items. The common older standard display resolutions, which was the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Now, 4 by 3 is uh, four on the width and three on the height um, and it's almost square and these were uh, the, the resolutions you would see on some of the older uh, CRT cathode ray tube the big fat monitors that we used to have okay the heavy ones um, so VGA was a common one the 640 by 480 of course that was uh, a four to three ratio the super VGA which is an 800 by 600 ratio or, or resolution with a 4 by 3 ratio. The extended graphics array, which is a 1024 by 768 resolution. Okay, and so then we they came out with the newer widescreen display resolution, which is the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And one of the smaller ones is the 240p, which is 426 by 240. Then we had the th uh, 360p, and then that, of course, is 640 by 360. These are all 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratios. And then a 480p, which is 854 by 480, and that is your standard definition right there. Then the 720p, which is your 1280 by 720, that is your high definition. And then your 1080p, which is... Uh, your full HD, your full high definition. And your newer ones, your, your even newer ones, are the 1440p, which is uh, 2K, <laughs> and uh, the 2160p, which is the 4K. So I think what I wanted to discuss with you is that the P here stands for progressive technology as opposed to interlaced. And I didn't want to get into uh, describing the difference between those two just note that the progressive gives you a higher quality of interface there okay so I did want to note that these this is the size video the 720p that I upload my videos to YouTube um, if you just because it's um you could upload these other sizes it's just they're a heavier file and you would probably have to compress it more in order to make the, the file smaller. And YouTube's already going to compress them. So what I, I like to do is just upload it about this size and with not much compression. That way I don't have to wait a long time for the video to upload to YouTube. And it works for me. Now everybody, you know, everybody's going to do it a little differently and probably, you know, thinks that they have the better edge on, on doing it correctly. But that's my tip on that one. Um, that's what I like to use. So let's go look at some of these resolutions in action here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just minimize this a little bit. And we're going to take a look at the old uh, VGA size. And notice how square that is. Now, if you upload a video in this size, um, you're going to get these black blocks on the sides or black bars on each side of the video because YouTube is uh, set up for a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and so this is the 4 by 3 so you're gonna get this uh, black bar on each side of your video which is kinda ugly but it still works okay so let's go into our super VGA size a little bit bigger and then your extended graphics array it's a little bit bigger even yet and now, so those were the three um, four by three aspect ratio um, 
resolutions that I wanted to show you. Now, those are almost square. Four on the, on the width and three on the height. So let's now get into our 16 by 9, which is a little more rectangular. Okay. Of course, this is our smallest size. So again, 16 on the width, 9 on the height. And let's go to our 480p. A little bit bigger. Same, same rectangle, but a, same aspect ratio, but a little bit bigger. And let's go. This is the one that the high definition now that I do. Uh, for my video uploads. Okay. And then we'll go ahead for the full HD, which is as large as I can get on this screen because it's going to fill the entire screen. Okay. So that is your full HD. I just grab this again. And we'll go back to the 720p. Um, so I can't go any larger than that. To show you but those are the different sizes that you actually see so obviously my screen is full HD which is 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 um, so what I end up doing is go ahead and reducing that down uh, to this the 720p and then uploading that to YouTube okay so that's all I wanted to do is just show you a little bit um, example of the different screen resolutions that we're currently working with. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Please check out remotetech.biz and uh, give us a call if you have any computer issues. We will take care of you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Peace out.